Well, hello again! We are going shopping! Shopping, 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 shopping! I know many of you had expressed in the last shopping video that the next place you wanted to go was Mac. And we are going to go to Mac! Yes, yes, yes! But this is such an impromptu trip that I did want to film it because it is part of a project that I'm working on. I am reorganizing my whole makeup collection right now. It just needed to be done. So I'm on the way to the Container Store. The Container Store had a location in Miami. And I had always planned to go down to Miami just specifically. <laughs> This is what an organization freak I am. Specifically to go to the container store, but they opened a location in Tampa about three months ago. I found out and I was overjoyed. So that is where I'm going today. There is also a costume store up there that carries theater makeup. Theater makeup is the best makeup ever. It's the most awesome stuff in terms of quality and longevity. So we are going to be going there as well. Oh, and let me share with you what I'm wearing. Oh, are you going to be in an outfit of the day? Well, Inky is wearing a black fur coat. <laughs> Back to me, all right, sport. That's what I came in here for. All right, I'm wearing the red top is Banana Republic. The blazer here, I'll put a link below to the seller that I found this from. This is from a seller on eBay. It's a very fitted blazer. Absolutely love it. High quality. The pants are black columnist from Express. And the shoes are guess. And that's a better close-up of the shoes. With a tail. <laughs> One of the most recognizable landmarks here in the Tampa Bay area is the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, which we're getting ready to go over. And I'll show you here in a second. All right, you can see it out there over the bay. It's a beautiful bridge. And sometimes if you look out here over the water, you can actually see dolphins up and down in the water just swimming in their uh, schools. I don't see them out there today, but sometimes you can see them. I know this is kind of a morbid fact, but this is actually the number three bridge in the United States for suicide, believe it or not. Number one is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. I know that's like a really morbid fact, but sadly it's true. And we're at the very top. You look down over there you can see a really great view of St. Petersburg downtown. Just nothing but water all the way around. And most people you talk to in this area that have lived here for a while have a story about the Sunshine Skyway Bridge whether it was getting stuck in traffic for hours or they know somebody who jumped. It's everyone you talk to basically has a story about this bridge and I do have a story about this bridge as well. When I was laid off from one of my jobs a long time ago, I went back to take myself to school basically. I wanted to teach myself all of the software programs for design like Photoshop, InDesign, all of those Adobe programs so that I could increase my skill set. So I enrolled myself in a school at the time and I got a part-time job in St. Pete. And there was a, a woman in my class and she was there all the time doing the same thing I was doing. She did have a friend that would come with her quite often. And I overheard a couple conversations where she was talking about her husband had done this. It sounded like she was in an abusive relationship, that type of thing, right? So one day in class, we noticed that she wasn't there. She hadn't showed up. And we couldn't figure out why. But none of us really thought that much into it. We just kind of shrugged it off. Well, come to find out, this is the freaky thing. I had gone to work that day, and I usually got off about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 
So this day I had gotten off at 3 o'clock and I, as I was coming back over the other side of the bridge, there was a car at the top of the bridge and many of you who live in this area probably remember the story I'm talking about. This happened back in 2009 and the car was on fire and I remember I had to stay in line for maybe about 30 minutes. It wasn't that long because it had just happened and as I was driving by they were extinguishing it, putting out the flames. What had happened was someone had killed their wife and jumped over the bridge to commit suicide. Come to find out, the lady that was in my class was in the trunk of that car and it was just heart-wrenching. When I found that out, it literally touched me and it was, she was the sweetest woman. It was, it was really, ugh, ugh. Yeah, you know we're gonna need one of these. That's for sure. Oh my gosh, I just don't know where to start. Look at all that. For those of you looking for jewelry organization, they have great jewelry racks for like your bracelets, necklaces, that type of stuff. And they're actually pretty inexpensive. That big one right there is only 20 bucks. And this one is about, what is that, 15? I'm seriously getting so distracted. It's like I made a list of everything I need and I haven't touched on anything on that list because I'm having so much fun just looking at everything. Oh my gosh. Shoe racks. Little shoe rack. Big shoe rack. More shoe racks. Shoes, shoes. These, these are what I want for the pallets to put them in. I'm just wondering if they're deep enough. <laughs> I'm so silly. This is actually a display rack. I thought it was for sale. <laughs> See, and I'm thinking that something like this would be really good for organizing pallets. Just to put them in there, you can put the smaller ones up here and then the bigger ones back in here. But I need to measure it. I may have all kinds here. I like the brown ones. You know, I should have brought a makeup palette with me because this looks like it may be too shallow instead of what I really want. I want something really deep. See, this is what I was looking for before. Something to put pallets in like that. This is actually a lid organizer for the kitchen. You can see they have all kinds. That's what I want. And these would be so good for the bathroom. Look at these. They pull out, or at least they should. They have a little tie there that's making them so they can't, but there you go. Those are great for hair tools excess makeup. Now I already have these bamboo shelves under my sink in the bathroom and I love them. They're so perfect, especially if you don't have a lot of room underneath your sink because you can stack stuff. And spice racks are perfect for nail polishes. You have nail polishes that you need to store and a lot of them. Spice racks are great because they allow you to see all the polishes. Look what I found! I'm in the bath aisle. They have tons of stuff here, especially for those of us who make up organize. Those are the little drawers that I use. I have about six of those. Just bought another one. Lots of lipstick organizers. Great for a brush holder. Again, you can put your palettes in something like this. Oh, that was something else. 
oh my gosh, I got here at like 11.30 and it's one o'clock right now. I just could not leave that store. And there's still so much that I wanna get, so much. So now we're going to the theater. No, we're going to the costume store to see theater makeup. Ooh. All right, that is where we're going. Features costumes. Okay, I've never been in here, so you're going in here with me for the very first time, too. Let's check it out. Well, that was interesting, and the makeup counter that they had in there wasn't too impressive. They had a lot of Ben Nye stuff, but it was extremely hard for me to record because the lady was standing right there, and there were actually three drag queens in there. They weren't dressed up, but you could tell that they were drag queens. They knew what they were talking about. And it was so cool getting to talk to them. I love drag queens in and out of costume. Just love them. So sorry I didn't get to show you more in the store. I wasn't exactly overly impressed with the place. I mean, if you have a costume that you need to get, it's definitely the place to go. All right, we're back home, and this is the bag. In addition to the big bag, I got a garbage can, and let me show you why. So I know most people don't get excited about a garbage can. What, you like the smell of that? The smell good? But this was the old one, and as you can see, the foot pedal on it is broke. It won't even open the lid anymore. So we got this one today. And I like this one because it's advertised as being fingerprint resistant. And as you can see, I can touch it all day long and there are no fingerprints on that. And so if I move this one out of the way, you can even see that this one fits better in the space. Because my poor hubby would come running through here and he'd hit his foot on that lever constantly. So I wanted one that had the lever in front. So now, <laughs> Happiness as a new garbage can. Oh, look at that. It even goes down softly. What do you think, Ink? Is it Inky approved? First thing out of the bag is a four sort divider. And I bought this specifically for my makeup palettes. I'm planning to put the palettes in like that so that they're easier to find. I also picked up another storage box and I already have five of these. This is my sixth one and I love them. They're great because you can see all of your makeup items inside. You don't have to sit there and sift through anything. And I had one little spot left where I could put one. So yes, got my last one. What else did we get? Oh, I got an under shelf basket. What this does is, is there a picture there? Yeah, there's a picture there. You can see it goes under the shelf, wherever you want to put it. So if it doesn't fit in my makeup cabinet, because it may not, it may stick out too far, I do want to put this in the kitchen where my Tupperware cabinet is. My Tupperware cabinet is a mess. Last but not least, I got a cookware organizer. I know it's not exciting for you, but it's exciting for me. The pans under the oven have gotten absolutely ridiculous. It's to the point now where I don't even want to open up the bottom drawer of the oven anymore. No! Ah! Oh, that is horrible. So <laughs> I bought this. This is supposed to sit up in your cabinet and you can put your pans in the slots. Very similar to how this one is, but this is aluminum. So it's gonna be a little bit more heavy duty for the heavy pans. And that's all I got today, and I will be doing a reorganization video. I'm reorganizing everything in my makeup cabinet, so it's gonna look completely different. So hopefully it'll help to give you some ideas for your own collection as well. Look for that video soon. And what else did I wanna tell you? Oh. We will be going to MAC on the next shopping trip, so that's the next one scheduled. I don't know when, but it'll be soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. I enjoyed having you. See you next time. Looking for new ways to wear your Urban Decay Naked palettes? Come discover the only website online with pictures of combinations using MAC and Urban Decay eyeshadows. Visit myeyeshadowconsultant.com and sign up for instant access today. Thank you.